Hello farmers, how are you there? Welcome to another episode of Gadget and Garden. Previously done is know how. And today I would like to give you an update on what happened to the white sandalwood plants that I had planted, uh, which uh, I had given in the last video. Uh, the link I have given in the description please go and see that video that was in Asmis but today I would like to speak in English because I would like to reach out to the farmers in the Northeast who basically speaks in English my main plantation here if you see this plant has not grown much but it's uh, primary host and the secondary host they have grown a bit like the tour dal plant on the right side has really grown about four and four half four and a half feet and the uh, permanent host plant of neem uh, has grown about three feet and the intercropping with uh, prom promaganate uh, you know fruit here plant uh, they're doing well uh, all these green bushes you see are the tour dal the you know the yellow dal they're growing quite well and this is sasbania sasbania is uh, growing outgrowing the white sandal in the between here and white so sandal is sandal is slowly uh, getting bushier and in trim its growth is slow so it will not grow so much until they are about two years old this sasbania here this is uh, outgrowing it it needs pruning very badly so let me just snip it and this is not the best way to do it you know this is not the best way you have to use your shears and uh, tools to do this now i put it here in the bed so that it becomes manure when it uh, you know rots these leaves these are very good for us also you know goats cows like to eat them so like i did this last time so like two weeks back i uh, broke this and put it there so these are growing well these are quite growing well and uh, my take is after three months uh, most of the white sandals have grown quite well if 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 at all not grown too tall but they're growing quite well they're trying to st uh, striving thriving now and uh, i hope they have already uh, root knotted underneath with the tour dull you know to get their food and this is how it looks and uh, between bed to bed we have given turmeric here what you see in the middle is the turmeric here you can also use black turmeric you can use anything that you want in between this in these beds any other things yeah this is how it looks and uh, we have also used uh, ginger uh, a lot a lot all the gaps we have put ginger mostly and uh, we uh, hopefully would reap uh, benefit in the month of march april next year yeah that way it keeps uh, my land utilized because this sandalwood plantation is an experimentation it doesn't uh, many people don't plant in assam in northeast so it's an experimentation so that's why i'm giving you updates here i have also planted you know these are old trees actually like 20 25 years old uh, uh teak wood plants are there gomari is there uh we have about uh, the sweetenia uh what and what you call as mahogany also is there it's growing now actually mahogany is quite newly planted here over here yeah like this one yeah and also it is interspersed with uh, you know erica nut these are kerala variety uh, they bear fruit in four years they're about one year old here planted one year back and uh, this is how i have utilized the whole land and this is the red sanders what we call as lal chandan these also are growing there they, they don't need host plants they grow by themselves but uh, they'll they'll take about 30 40 years to you know uh, give scent yeah and this is the red lady variety of papaya the chinese variety that i had bought it's quite costly the seeds are quite costly 
but when they grow uh, they're very beneficial because uh, they don't give so many flowering plants but fruit bearing plants so that's how this is how to see this is the height it's barely about three feet i think three feet yes and in between we have planted the ericanas yeah when the ar ericanas grow this uh, papaya will be stopped planting there we will be stopping the planting there and we also have the citrus especially the nimbus no the seedless uh, nimbu variety and this is the alfonso mango plant in this uh, near the plant this is the summer summer apple uh, this is the first time we are planting let's see how it goes and this is the promagnet as i told you yeah haven't taken much care about them actually and these are some jute some vegetables uh, okra some you know ladies fingers and so mangoes bearing flowers now i don't know this is july 10th how it's going to be and uh, these are silver millets i planted for you know my budgerigers i have some birds so to feed them and let also wild birds come and eat them away i'm happy I, I i i am a nature lover and i really am happy and this is the rich gourd that uh, oh yeah i've just put there and then uh, they're also bearing fruit yeah it's a small land not much one acre maybe and this is the second plot where you see the bushes there the second plot that i had shown in the last video where i have uh, put the white sandals here also white sandals are quite uh, growing quite well and uh, the primary and the secondary host plants have outgrown them actually see they are needing a lot of pruning is required here today after this video we will be doing this uh, pruning because some of the uh, white sandals uh, the, the saplings the plants you can't see them they are all hidden up in the leaves among the leaves of the tour dal so this is how we are breaking again yeah they're quite good quite good i'm just worried about winter maybe in the winter i'll have to give drip irrigation here because the land looks like it will dry up i was afraid that uh, you know uh, the since there is uh, see, so much water nearby see paddy field and all those so i thought uh, sandal will not grow here so I experimented with uh, a little bit of raised bed and so on but it looks like i may have to irrigate them in the winter because some of the sand and some of the soil that i have here is quite you know sandy cultivation time in assam beautiful so far my friends thank you so much for watching this video i would be bringing you updates if you like this video please tell me in the comments if you need updates regularly at least after three months every time and if you have like please put a like and also do subscribe so that i can bring you the updates again later thank you